What's up guys? It is I, New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general readings for somebody. So again this week we still want to slime time. Um, I'm probably going to keep this up for the next couple of weeks because this is what I like and I'm going to do it. Also want to say that um, I'm I'm going to change the upload the upload times that I upload. It's not going to be exactly the same days every week. Um, so, but I'm going to make sure to upload all 12 signs every week, but just the days that I upload it, it's going to change. So, um, that's what, that's what I got to deal with. So yeah, I got to deal with it too. <laughs> um, also I want to say that today we're doing something different. Um, so this week I decided to, you know, I've been wanting to do, um, an Oracle spread, like since last year but I haven't like really implemented it till today so this week we're going to just do um and I like to switch things up okay I'm an Aries sun so I I like change <laughs> I like things to be you know different so um just so you guys know but yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull some oracles I'm only gonna pull oracles today um I'm going to do my scared <clears throat> scares um tarot my monology and then my divine guidance and then i'm going to pull my mushroom cards for some advice at the end um they're all oracles now if i do feel like i need to clarify i will but um i'm trying not to i just want to just do oracles and get the message out there the video might be a little shorter than usual because it's just the oracle reading we're not getting much in depth so this week it will be a little shorter the readings but um I just want to test this out and see how it goes. All right, so let's see what's up. Let's see who's gonna get this reading today. Oracle. Who's gonna get to be the first sign to do the first all Oracle reading on the new new Tarot cha cha Challenge? <laughs> we got Taurus in the house. All right, Tor, Tor. Let's see what's up. Let's see what you got for me. All right, so. Let's see. Taurus. Taurus. I feel like some of you guys need to push for something. Taurus. Or some of you guys are pushing for something. Taurus. What is Taurus doing at this moment? One second, guys. All right. Taurus. what is hard to know at this moment thank you one more card okay that's the thing too is like i say three cards and they always give more so i'm just gonna say whatever okay bottom of the deck is abundance oh that's a great tara that was a great okay okay let's say let's say let's say all right so the first card you have is new beginnings okay very self-explanatory there's an energy there's an energy of something new happening here. Either you could be starting a new relationship with someone. Um, if you are with someone, it could be um, it could be a new level in your relationship. It could be a new um, career endeavor. We can we'll be able to dig more deeper into it once we get the other two. But that's the energy right now. And then you have the release card. So I feel like a lot of you are releasing and shedding a lot of old ways of thinking old ways of doing things even people as well you're releasing what doesn't serve you anymore um it's like you're shedding that and then you have security all right this card is just here basically telling you that you're secure that you that you have the universe and your angels right now around you heavily and they are um kind of like being like security guards right they're they're i mean we always have angels and ancestors watching over us but like they specifically wanted to let you know that and i feel like they wanted to let you know that so you know that you're not alone um maybe some of you guys could be going through a really hard time right now and it might feel like you know i mean if you're releasing things from the past that's never easy right um having to go back to the past and deal with those emotions it's um it's not cute and it's not pretty um and it hurts it's really hurtful but i am so proud that you guys are doing it because it takes a lot of courage to even get here so just make sure that you stay not stay here but just make sure that you don't give up on yourself okay that's why the security card i also feel like is here because it's kind of saying like we got you the universe got your back and they are there for you and when you need it pray to them ask them for um you know strength and clarity um to get through this 
kind of patch that you're going through right now but just know that once you release what you have to release a new beginning is in store for you like a, a, the universe has like a beautiful present waiting for you at the end of this other side of this release so even though i feel like a lot of you guys could be going through a painful time right now just know that there's that there's something great at the end of the rainbow okay and then you have stand still okay so the universe is basically telling you to stand still they don't want you to do anything they don't want you to really move too much don't make any drastic decisions at this moment because you're very fragile you're going to things from your past things could be confusing you might not be in a clear head to be making decisions or you know be doing certain things so they just kind of want you to just stay put okay because i think they're they're working their little magic all right and then you have abundance and you have forgiveness i think this is you i think you i think i think you need to forgive yourself okay you, you obviously have to forgive other people in your in your um life but a lot of people forget that we have to forgive ourselves for allowing ourselves to go through certain things right we have to forgive ourselves for allowing certain things to keep up going as well as you have to allow forgive yourself for holding in all these feelings that now you have to release and now it probably you know feels 10 times worse because you've hold it in all these years all these months weeks whatever and you know now it, and that's the thing with feelings that people need to understand is like when we feel sad when we feel happy whatever emotion that we feel we have to it is the point of emotions it's to feel them it's to go through them if you you know if you decide oh this bad feeling i don't want to feel this guilt i don't want to feel this regret i'm just gonna push to the back of my you know just gonna forget about it and move on yeah it'll work for the meantime but those feelings will always come up no matter what and when they do come up when they resurface again it's not gonna be at a time where it'll be convenient for you and it's gonna come 10 times harder because now you've buried it in so deep it's gonna take longer for it to come out you know what i'm saying so um you know I It'll be great. It'll be awesome if we had the choice to be like, you know, I don't want to feel this bad emotion. I don't want to do it because it's bad. Like, but we don't. We don't. We don't have that luxury. And it's and it's just because you could ignore something for a little bit doesn't mean that it's gone. And um, I do want to make that clear, right? Just make sure that you know that you have to feel everything, the good and the bad. Nothing is perfect. Nothing will ever be perfect. We have to come here and go through the good and the bad. And there's no way in, in trying to cheat the system and trying to not feel any bad feelings. Like there's no, you can't. So I do see you forgiving yourself. But I also see a lot of abundance. Whether that's in love, that's in money. I see that coming for you, okay? So that's good. All right, let's see what the monology cards got for you. <sighs> Taurus. But yeah, I feel like I also feel like for those of you who are having a hard time releasing your past, I do think that the universe is kind of like is 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 your driving force that's pushing you here. Um to keep going here, to not give up. That's what they're saying, stand still. Like, don't make any hasty decisions right now. Just be with yourself and go through this by yourself right now. Okay. Taurus, spirit, Taurus. What does Taurus need to know at this very moment? Taurus, that card wanted to come out. So I'm going to take it out. Thank you. What else? Thank you. What else? What else for Taurus? <sighs> Thank you. All right, you have two Leo cards here. So you could have Leo in your chart or it could be dealing with a Leo. All right. Bottom of the deck, it's, it's time to take action. Okay. Aries season. So in Aries season, I think things are going to start looking up for you. I feel like things are going to start chugga 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 choo choo you know that's when things are going to start moving and that's honestly like two weeks away are you ready taurus are you ready okay so you have don't let pride get in your way so this is kind of saying like don't let ego get in your way don't let um you know oh you know i don't want your advice because i know that the way i'm doing it is right or you know be just don't let the ego get in the way we all know what the ego is versus intuition the ego is, is itself it's i know you i don't care what you got to do you know um your intuition is i feel right so you should go with the i feel don't go with the i know i know because we don't know anything to be honest um and we learn things every day we learn new things every day so 
just make sure that you are allowing people to help you if they if they are asking to help you make sure that you don't um you know what do i what do, what do how do i put this in words make sure you don't um you know like take two steps back and then four back uh, take two steps forward and then four back right don't uh, don't backtrack because things get scary things get hurtful things get um weird whatever that is okay and then you have have faith in your dreams so <clears throat> excuse me so basically don't give up remember why you started remember what it is that you want that you really really want and keep and keep that mindset going all right and then you have don't let your past hold you back yeah don't let don't let your past you know experiences hold you back don't let your um you know people from the past hold you back don't allow like i said past experience to hold you back is basically what it is um you know i feel like a lot of you guys are going back to the past with this release card so it's like they don't want you to stay in that energy right they just want you to visit it see what's going on heal boop out the garbage right and then you're moving forward um to just make sure you don't stay in stuck there okay Anything that happened in the past, whatever you did in the past, it doesn't make you who you are. You are a beautiful and honest soul. And, um, you know, it, it takes time to heal. It takes time to release certain energies. It takes time to heal, especially if you've been holding it in for a very long time. I just saw 11, 11 um, on the timer. It it's going to take some time. Okay. Taurus. Taurus, what else? What else can you tell Taurus at this moment? Thank you. What else? Thank you. What else, Taurus? Thank you. Bottom of the deck is boundaries, okay? No one to put up and let down your walls. Yeah, I mean, that card is here because of the don't let your past hold. I'm sorry, don't let your pride, okay? Make sure that you are, um, you know, it's okay to keep distance from people, but know when when to let the guard down, right? Like if people are trying to come and help you, make sure you allow that. Don't close up because you're scared or whatever the reason is for each of you, okay? So the first card you got is putting in work. So <clears throat> you guys could either be putting in work at the moment. Um, you could be, it says action that helps achieve goals, building the path to success. So I feel like a lot of you guys are doing things that is leading to a greater outcome that is, that is actually like making you walk in your soul purpose. That's what I feel. And I feel like for a lot of you, you need to start putting action. I feel like a lot of you could be stuck in the past. You could be stuck in these memories and not, um, you know, realizing that you have to learn that you have to heal. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys need to put in the work to move forward. Don't just get stuck in this healing process and uh, and this releasing process and just be like, okay, now what? You have to, you know, move, move, all right? Um, put some actions in what you want, right? If you have a certain goal, if you want to do something, start, you know, any little bait that you do is, is, is something. So just keep going. You have fear as the next card, all right? Expecting the worst, afraid of failure, wasting time with negative thoughts. Yeah, I mean, that's why they have have faith in your dreams because a lot of you guys could be like, oh, you know, I don't, you're putting in the work for that. You you are, some of you, but it's like, you could be like a little hesitant, like, oh, well, wait, but what if it, but what if, stop with the what ifs, Taurus, stop it. Say, it's going to go great. It's going to be amazing, all right? don't don't think negative think positive out of every negative situation you could absolutely find a positive and if that's gonna take some time then it's gonna take some time but try to do that because you need to all right and then you have creativity so they want you to express yourself in a different way in a fun way in a light-hearted way in a way that's not so strict and and stern like just have fun have fun the way you express yourself. Have fun the way you do things at your job, the way you do things at school, the way you do things at your home. Have fun with it and be creative because you have a lot of create creative, um, I feel like, ideas that are coming up. And they want you to implement that and put it in the places that it needs to be, okay? And then you have denial. Failure to accept a situation, unhealthy cycles, or addictions. I feel like this is just, um, I feel like some of you guys are in denial that you need to heal, that you need to release certain things. But that comes from this fear, okay, um, of things not working out, of things going left, whatever the case is here. I feel like a lot of you guys are, are failing to accept that something is the way it is. 
and then nothing is going to change for me and you have to move on i think like a lot of you guys could be stuck in the past um so you know that whatever that you're in denial about that is over and you're still like oh maybe it's not oh da -da 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 -da, or maybe you know whatever it's over for those of you who are in um in an unhealthy cycle which i feel like i feel like that has to do with this healing with this releasing that you're doing with this purging it's like that's what that's why i mentioned before like make sure that you're not going you know two steps forward and then four steps back like make sure that you know once you once you pass a certain level you keep going you don't be like oh wait but i, I don't know because that part was really scary and i don't know if i want to go to the next level because it's going to be scary too it's all going to be scary tars there, there is no easy way of healing there isn't let me tell you right now every level that you go into is going to hurt but you have to love yourself enough to put yourself through that we we are on this earth to do that to learn how to heal to learn how to feel pain and then forgive and move on that's one of the reasons why we're here right so you have to be okay with that things are things are things are going to be painful you can't you can't prevent that from happening all right what's the advice here for taurus spirit what's the advice you guys got two cards all right the first card you got is keep going trust in yourself you have all you need okay so this is basically saying trust in your heart your heart your intuition trust that you know where you gotta go you should not be listening to anybody else when they're trying to tell you oh what you need to do this oh we need to do that do what you feel you should do you are your own guide you don't need anybody else to be telling you anything okay and then you have the gryphon I probably said that wrong. <laughs> um, be brave and fly above the clouds. Okay. This is... Um, I feel like if you guys... Um, well, this is... This is um, I see an eye here. It could be a third eye chakra. I feel like this is saying like... Third eye chakra, your third eye. Be brave and fly above the clouds like... Be brave and do what you have to do. Be brave and don't take three, you know, like I said, don't take two steps forward and, and three steps back. Be brave. You got this. Stand up for yourself. Be there for yourself and keep going because there's no one else that can do this but you. All right, Tars? Well, that's all that I have for you guys today. Let me know if you guys like this Oracle reading um, so I can do it some more maybe next month or something like that. All right? Well, have a good day or a good night whenever you're watching this and stay positive.